Hello, this is Dr. Paul Cottrell, and I would like to give you an update on some information that I received just about, I don't know, about 30 minutes ago. And I'm going to read it to you, okay? And this is another data point that, that seems to suggest that the CDC is hiding information. To the, you know, from the public and how bad it, it really is. Okay, so I'm going to read this, and I'm not going to read the names. Okay, I'm just going to uh, um, redact that out. Okay, this is a text message from a, from a listener to the channel to someone that is from the CDC. Hope all is well. I was just wondering if you could uh, fill me in on what's happening with this coronavirus. Hearing conflicting things about it, is it as bad as it's said to be on the news? And should we have to worry? Thanks. Best blank. I'm not going to give the names, okay? But I have I have screenshots of the of the text. Hello, blank. Good to hear from you. I hope the kids and blank. Are doing well. We are still investigating everything. However, I can tell you this. It's worse than what is being said on the social media and national wide news. We're trying to prevent panic, as that only will make things worse. Please keep that between us. There have always been over 1,000 cases in the U.S. Wait, there, there have already been over 1,000 cases in the U.S., Although, on the news, they're just keeping things quiet for now and report, reporting far less to the public. Wear masks when slash if traveling, even near by distances. We suspect cases in over 32 states at this point. If we don't, if we don't ensure our safety measures as fast as we'd like, this could spread much faster than we expected. Please stay safe, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. All the best, blank. They are doing good. They are doing good. Thanks. Thank you very much for the information. Absolutely, I will keep this between us for sure. I suspect that there were many more cases than they said on TV, as. Too many have traveled from China to here before we knew what we were dealing with. I appreciate everything. I will keep in touch. God bless. So that is a big problem. I received this from from a a person that uh, you know listens to the channel and is connected to me on Facebook. So, I'm revealing this because our safety is at risk here. The CDC is lying to the American public. I'm sharing you this information, assuming that this is true. I have not verified it. I can't verify it. All right? But we have to, in the, in the fog of war, uh, sometimes shoot first and then aim later, okay? I have a data point with a caller in in Buffalo, New York, stating that there's six confirmed COVID-19 cases that the CDC has not released to, to, to the public, uh, you know, um, and, and published on the John Hopkins database. Then we have... This is another data point saying that it's far worse. And I mentioned on many different channels and in other videos that I thought that the CDC has been hiding the, the numbers in, in multiple states. I didn't think it was 32 states. I figured maybe three or four. I thought Oklahoma was one, Texas was one, you know, New York. So this is much bigger than I thought. So this is another data point that leads us towards towards, uh, you know, more confirmed hypothesis. And the hypothesis is this, 
that the CDC is lying to the American public to prevent panic. But by them not being transparent, they are going to make things worse, not make things better. So in the morning, I'm calling my senator, Chuck Schumer, and I'm calling Governor Cuomo of New York and, and demand what the hell is going on and that the CDC is lying to the American public. And if I do not get within like 10 hours, um, you know, an apology from my representatives, all hell is going to break loose.